Hi friends, my name is Sarah and welcome back to Educating Adventures. I bet a lot of you guys have heard people say, wow, you look just like your mom or your dad, or wow, you look just like your grandma or your grandpa. And that's because a lot of the traits, the characteristics that we have, we get from our parents. They're inherited. But not every trait is inherited. Some of them are acquired during our lives, or we develop them as we grow. So that's exactly what we're gonna be talking about today, inherited versus acquired traits. So let's go ahead and jump in. When we think about traits, we can think about our characteristics. And there are some traits that animals share, but there are also traits that make us unique. So there are some traits that all humans have, right? Like most of us have two ears, we have two eyes, but a trait that maybe makes us unique is the color of our eyes. We're gonna talk more about that in just a couple minutes, but traits can be both physical or behavioral. Physical traits are things that we have. Behavioral traits are things that we do. And if you wanna learn more about physical and behavioral traits, feel free to check out our, the, our other video where we go into a deep dive with many examples of physical and behavioral traits. Today, we're gonna to be talking more about how we get those traits. Because some traits are inherited, and an inherited trait is something that we get from our parents. It's something that's passed down in our DNA and our genetics. But other traits can be acquired. And acquired traits are things that we develop throughout our lives that really have nothing to do with the traits that we got from our parents. So both inherited and acquired traits can be physical or behavioral. And when we think about a behavioral trait that's inherited, sometimes we call those instincts. And instincts are things that we were not taught, but we still know how to do. You might have heard about instincts when we think about our pets at home, our dogs and our cats. They still have some of their instincts that their wild relatives have. We're gonna talk more about that in just a couple minutes, but before we get started with that, let's look at some inherited and acquired traits that humans have. So an inherited trait that we might get from our parents is our eye color. And that is one of the things that we said kind of makes us different from other humans. If both of your parents have brown eyes, you're probably gonna have brown eyes. And if both of your parents have blue eyes, you probably are gonna have blue eyes. That's a trait that's passed down from our parents. Something else that we get from our parents is our height. If both of your parents are tall, odds are you're probably gonna be tall too. And the same thing, if both of your parents are a little bit shorter, you probably are gonna be a little bit shorter as well. Some of you guys might have freckles, and I bet that freckles run in your family. I bet you're not the only person in your family that has freckles. That is something physical that's inherited or passed down from our parents. But remember we said that inherited traits can also be behavioral. So something you guys are doing right now that you might not even realize is breathing. The ability to breathe is not something that we're taught. It's something we know how to do right away when we're born. It's inherited, it's an instinct. So when we take a big breath in, that's a behavior that our bodies just know how to do. Another thing that you're probably doing right now, that's an instinct, is blinking. Our bodies just know to blink when there's wind or there's dust. We have to blink to help keep our eyes clear and clean. And that's not something that we're taught. It's something we know how to do. It's passed from our parents in our genetics. So that is also an inherited behavioral trait or an instinct. Now, there are a lot of traits that we inherit from our parents, but we also acquire or develop a lot of traits throughout our life. If you look around at your friends and your family, you might notice that we all have different hair length. We can cut our hair throughout our lives and acquire a different hair length. If you've ever skinned your knee really bad or had a bad cut, you might have a little scar left over from that accident. And those scars are something we have acquired. 
They're usually not something that we're born with. We develop them throughout our lives and they have nothing to do with the traits that our parents have passed down to us. I'm sure a lot of you guys either know how to or are learning how to ride a bike. That is a trait or a behavior that you have to learn. You're not born knowing how to ride a bike. You have to learn how to do it. And same thing with reading and writing. These are that's knowledge and traits that we have acquired during our lives. Even your favorite food is an acquired trait. We have to try a whole bunch of foods and figure out what we like. We develop a love for specific foods, maybe candy or chocolate. So all of these things are traits that we've acquired during our lives. They are not things that we inherited from our parents. Now let's think about some other animals, some non-human animals. And again, we're gonna start with those inherited traits that are passed down in their genetics. If we think of a rattlesnake, Rattlesnakes inherit a rattle. At the end of their tail, they have those extra special scales that they can use to kind of warn predators of their danger. And something else that they inherit is the behavior of rattling the rattle when they get scared. There's no rattlesnakes that teach the younger rattlesnakes that they should rattle their tail to warn off predators. They just know how to do that. It's an instinct. We might also think of gazelles or antelopes over in Africa. A lot of them have that brown color that helps them camouflage in tall grasses. That brown color is passed down from their parents. Most of the time, their parents look very, very similar to them with their colors and their patterns. However, gazelles also inherit the behavior of knowing how to hide from their predators. If they hear a rustling in the grasses, they're not gonna jump up and down and cause a lot of attention to be put on themselves. They're gonna hold really still and look around. And that is a behavior that they inherited. No one taught them how to do that. It's just something that they knew how to do. And if we also think of a bird, birds have lots of amazing traits. One thing that they inherit are their wings. So birds, they inherit their wings. That gives them, most birds, the ability to fly. Not every bird can fly, but those wings also help them to fly, which is a behavior. And some birds even migrate south for the winter. That's an instinct. They're not taught to migrate. Their bodies kind of know deep down, it's an instinct that when it's cold, it's time for them to travel somewhere warmer. So a lot of times, these inherited physical traits, they actually help animals do their behavioral traits. But a lot of times, those behaviors are embedded deep within them, their instincts. And like I said before, sometimes when we think of instincts, we think of our cats and our dogs and their wild relatives. If we think of dogs and wolves, wolves, they chase their prey, right? They're carnivores, they have to go hunting. And sometimes our dogs like to chase stuff too, whether it's a squirrel or a rabbit. Some dogs just have that innate behavior, that instinct to chase smaller animals. When wolves are tired, they also pant. They open their mouth, they let their tongue hang out, and I'm sure some of you guys have seen this behavior with your dogs at home as well. It's an instinct for them when they're tired to open up their mouth and pant. Now if we think of our cat at home, we know that their wild relatives, so maybe some lions or tigers, lions and tigers have lots of vocalizations. They make a whole bunch of different sounds based on their emotions. They might hiss when they're upset, and cheetahs, they're really well known for purring when they're happy. Our cats at home, they hiss when they're upset, and they purr when they're happy. These vocalizations are behaviors that are within them, their instincts. No one taught them how to purr or to hiss. They were born knowing how to do it. Now let's think of some acquired traits that wild animals have. If we think of an elephant, an African elephant, we usually picture them with very long tusks. But sometimes, whether it's from competition with another elephant or maybe an accident that they had, those tusks can get broken. So a broken tusk is a trait that they have acquired, that they've developed throughout their life. They were not born with a broken tusk. We might also think of a jaguar. And jaguars are great predators, right? They're very successful hunters. 
but sometimes we see jaguars that are missing a tooth and that might be from a prey animal that fought back but they usually aren't born missing a tooth it's something that they develop over their lifetime now Acquired traits can also be behaviors. So if we think of where deer like to hang out, usually in grassy areas, but grassy areas are sometimes home to wolves as well. So deer have learned the areas where the wolves hang out and they've acquired the ability to stay away from those areas to avoid the wolves. In kind of the same manner, wolves have learned where the deer hang out and wolves like to hang out in that same area because that's their food. So a deer or a wolf knowing where to hang out in their ecosystem, that's an acquired trait. That's something that they learned where they should go. Kind of along those same lines, an elephant, they migrate huge distances really, really far. Sometimes they have to cross rivers. And elephants are known for having a great memory, for being really smart. And so sometimes elephants, when they're crossing the river, they remember where the most shallow part of the river was, and they travel back to that area to cross the river. That's an acquired behavior. They weren't born knowing where the shallow part was. They had to learn it over their lives. So these inherited and acquired traits, they help animals survive or make it a little bit harder for them to survive. Traits, a lot of times, are kind of based on the environment and are really important when it comes to an animal's survival. So now when you look around at your friends and family, you can try to figure out what traits are inherited and what are acquired. And out when you're hiking next, you can look at some little animals and see why are they doing those things? Why do they look the way they are? Is it inherited or acquired? I hope you guys had a great time today learning about inherited and acquired traits with us. If you guys want to learn more, you want to do some activities, do some quizzes, have some projects, you can check out our website. Our link is below. And I hope we see you guys next time at our next educating adventure.